feel privileged to be going into this stadium. We realise how important it is for East London and the community. And, and we want, we desperately need a bigger stadium to make football affordable for all. And we will be continuing our policy of kids for a quid, half price game for adults. We want football to be affordable for the ordinary working class man, not just the corporate people. It's undeniable West Ham have had a busy summer. Investment into a new exciting chapter have seen us acquire many new exciting assets on the pitch. But are we about to lose our most valuable asset of all? Our future fans. Nicky Hawkins outside the London Stadium, West Ham Fan TV, but for a different reason today. Normally I go to the game uh, to cover the game, to give fans interviews after. Um, but I'm here today covering a very important issue, the loss of the concessions. Now there are many people that have abandoned this game, that have protested uh, against the concessions and have decided not to attend the game. Now you can see many people here behind me at the London Stadium that are attending with their children. But that may be a thing of the past if the club has anything to do with it. This is Prague 2023, a moment I'll never forget, but a moment that wouldn't have been possible if the concessions hadn't existed when I was just a young boy. Without the discounted tickets, it would have been impossible for my family to afford sending me and my brother off on our first season, on our journey of a lifelong support for West Ham. So I've just walked about 10 yards uh, across the walkway from where I filmed that initial segment. I've been given this leaflet. Um, it's from the Hammers United group. Uh, they're just behind me here giving out leaflets. Uh, save our concessions. Uh, full price for a new season ticket. Under 21 and under 18 and over 66 now must play full price for a season ticket. Now this is not just a West Ham thing, this is a Premier League thing. If you go back to when I was a kid at least, you know, if, if I hadn't got a, a concession, if I hadn't been able to afford uh, to, to, to buy a ticket, I would have never come to West Ham. Um, as you know, I come to West Ham every home, every away, every season, and I've passed that on to my son. My son has just been offered a season ticket this season, and it's cost me £780. When I first put him on the list, it was only £99. For many families, that is unaffordable. It's unaffordable and it's unacceptable. And it, it, they, they say on the back of this leaflet, it's going to earn the club less than what they pay Karen Brady in wages. I spoke to Paul Colburn of Hammers United to ask exactly what they're doing here today. I suppose the, uh, the nice words are, we're raising awareness. I went to a concert the other night, a fella called me over, knew nothing about concessions, nothing about petitions, had no idea. Town centre from in, coming out of Sainsbury's, ditto. Guy coming up on the train from Southampton, giving us a hand on Bridge Five, speaking to people. They said, it's don't believe it. They can't be charging it. Thousands of people don't know about this. So the first job is to raise awareness. So the club initially said any new season ticket holders uh, could only have a concession ticket if they were a new season ticket holder in band five or six. Now, when you quickly look at that, you think, well, what's the problem? Well, the problem is, firstly, a lot of people who might be taking them might be too old to negotiate the stairs. That's the first thing. But then think about it more, go into it a bit more. So there, you're there, you've got all your family, all the rest of your family, you've got all your friends in band three. But you've got to move to band six with, your, with the little one you want to bring in. Well, all your mates and your family aren't going to move. So in the end, it comes down to, will you pay the full amount or will you not? Loads and loads and loads of kids will be compromised, they won't come, we lose a generation and they will be replaced by, I won't use the word tourist, they'll be replaced by Premier League fans, not traditional West Ham fans. Families, my mate, his family's been going since the 1920s, his family will now die out when he goes. It's bloody disgraceful and West Ham fans, everyone should see that all of us have got to fight against this. Now the final part of this video was supposed to be me going over to the London Stadium, something that I've done many times before, to see how many actually knew about the loss of concessions. But on the way over, I came across an unexpected hitch. Now, unexpectedly, I'm, I'm, I'm outside the stadium now. I'm just across the road from the stadium. Um, I went over to the stadium to interview a couple of fans to see if they knew about the concessions. Now, interestingly, um, 
I, I was given a, a couple of these leaflets and I had these leaflets in my bag. So I went over to, to the island to, to, to interview some of the stadiums. Look, I had a, a tripod on me, which is the tripod that's in front of me now, which I understood they're going to have to take away. So what um, they asked me to do um, at the gate is they asked me who I was filming for, am I media? I said, no, no, I'm just a fan. I'm not going into the stadium. I'm just going around and I'm going to go into the shop. Um, they took all of my camera equipment off of me. Everything that I've got on me, they took it off me. And they particularly asked me to leave these at the gate, um, these, these leaflets that I've been given. Um, when I asked why, as you said, it's protest material. And I said, well, people have got a right to protest. You know, it's, 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 a, lot of, uh, it's a lot of money to be spending. And they just said, look, we've got a job to do. So I said, okay, no problem at all. I left my camera equipment there. Um, including this little tripod that we use on a weekly basis to interview fans. Um, once, he, once he got caught wind that I had some of this protest material, um, he was very adamant that I leave everything at the gate. Um, I left it at the gate, I went into the shop, and uh, a very odd interaction in there as well. I took some photos, I was taking some photos of the new kits to show to my son, um, to say to him, like, do you like any of these? Um, and they quickly swarmed around me and told me that I can't, I'm not allowed to take any media in there, I'm not allowed to take any photos in there. Um, I asked them why, a security guard came over, uh, he asked me to leave, um, he got a little bit heated. Uh, the manager then asked me to leave uh, and then they escorted me outside the shop. I don't know what is going on at the moment at this football club, look, it's very positive. On the pitch, as I was walking out, Jared Bowen had just scored a goal, but there's something going on. They don't like this and they don't like the fact that people are, are catching wind uh, I'm going to make a noise about this. Listen, final thoughts on this. Uh, if you don't know about it already, I just wanted to go and, and, and make sure um, to, to see how many fans actually knew about it as they was going into the stadium. Um, they didn't like me to take in my camera equipment in there. Don't know what's going to happen next season. May have the same interactions as that, but I'll be filming it all. But this is important. This is important for the future of our football club. Get behind this um, protest. Um, do what you can, listen to the, to the guys that are, that, that are highlighting this stuff and for the future of our football club, make sure you get behind it. One thing left to say, come on you irons.